Hey everybody. Well, I am gonna camp out, do an old overnight here in the woods, but there is supposed to be some rain coming in. I did not know. I thought it was just gonna be some drizzling. I don't know if I'm quite prepared for some heavy rain. I don't have that much experience camping in the rain, but we'll get some tonight. So let's see what happens. So I'm gonna try to get my shelter up and I really just have my tarp. I might have my hammock, but I was planning on just doing like a plow point shelter uh, tonight. Okay, found some green wood. Yeah, I think we got her. Looks pretty good. Some good room underneath there. That'll keep the rain off us. Well, let's see if we can get everything in there now. And we'll get a fire going. And we should be pretty good for the night. Got my camp set up. Uh, I'm gonna get the uh, rest of the stuff going here and I'll be right back. Check out this little gadget. This is neat. I saw this on <coughs> Svedwoods, Swedwoods, Svedwoods or Swedwoods channel. Um, he's a bushcrafter. This is a really cool piece of equipment. It's a portable fire bowl. Put the fire down right there. And you just Put your fire right in there and it doesn't burn anything so well it burns the wood duh but it doesn't scorch the ground is what i'm saying it's a little windy hopefully i can cook dinner before it gets too rainy back in a minute okay I hope I did this right. Because the wind is picking up. So I've got a small steak, I've got a couple of pork chops, and I have a backpacker's pantry uh, risotto with chicken. So we're going to try those. And right now, if I don't have a beer, I'm going to die. So I'm going to have a beer. Oh, and I have some strawberry shortcake for dessert. Yum. I try to keep hydrated. I honestly don't know how this night is going to go. <clears throat> if we'll even make it through the night. I mean, 
like I said, I don't have that much experience camping in the rain. Beer time. Hello. Gosh. Uh, this is a tiny bomb. American Pilsner is what this is called. That camera better be on. I'm going to... Tiny bomb. American Pilsner. Let's give it a shot. It's a Pilsner, so it's, it's not an IPA, so it might not be... Won't be too bad. Yeah, that's good. That's not bad. Wise Acre Brewing Company. I don't know if you can see that. I got it on the camera, right? But, but Wise Acre Brewing Company in Memphis, Tennessee. Okay. Set that there like that. So... Anyway, how's everybody been? I haven't done a video in forever. I work a lot. I work all the time. I could find the time to do it. It's not easy. That's for sure. Oh boy. I hope I did that wind right, that tarp right. be a long night in the rain. These are Schneider's butter snaps, by the way. These are really good. You should get some. So I uh, changed the name of my channel from Jam and Flame, which was lame, to Just Go Camping. And I, I don't know. I may change it again. I don't know. Uh, because I can one of the few things about having a, a not that many subscribers is you can get things sorted out like that. Nobody cares. There's a fire bowl. Very little smoke. So I've been on a bit of a weight loss journey. It's been good. I've lost about 20 pounds. I went back on Nutrisystem. That's... The food's pretty good actually the food's good uh the, the portions are really small you know but it works uh for me anyway now of course on a saturday night i don't really care much um so i'm gonna drink and eat what i want another, another beer yingling Yingling is one of my go-to, pretty much always my go-to beer. Real smooth, good blend of hops and malt. Good with pretzels. That's what that looks like. <clears throat> Not bad, I guess. I don't know. We'll just have to see. I have this little grill that I got. I don't know where I got it. It just goes on top of the fire. Like so. stay there for a period of time. We now re we now we re what do we do? We now oh man. Anyway, we're back. And there's a new beer. Another wiseacre. This is the Starless. Starless. 
Starless. Uh, Schwarzbier. 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 Hang on, let me read this. Black Lager. Yeah, okay. Whatever. Oh, that's <clears throat> that's different. It's more like a like a nut brown. That is also in Memphis, Tennessee. Good deal. Got a fairly good buzz going. Uh oh, the meat is sticking to the grill. Be right back. Ladies and gentlemen. I have some bad news. Terrible bad news. In my haste, I I knocked over my beer. Spilled my beer. That's bad luck, actually. Okay, I'm back. So, <clears throat> I'd like to throw my two cents in the ring about uh, when I started watching bushcraft videos. Well, I guess when I found Steve Wallace, everybody has that moment when they found Steve Wallace. <laughs> so because I had never mentioned this before. So, I started watching bushcraft videos like years ago. I was watching uh, Joe Robinette. And, um, totally awesome outdoors. T.A. Outdoors and his dad, T.A. Fishing. Kent Survival and Simon, a bloke in the woods. All the, the, the Brits. And, uh, I was watching all these bushcraft, oh, and bushcraft heroes. What the heck happened to bushcraft heroes? And there was a guy, tarot, tarot movies, tarot movies. He talked like Arnold Schwarzenegger. He was like these, uh, you take, the, they're talking about the, uh, the resin in the pine, in the fatwood. Talking about the resin from the pine trees, and he was taking the resin. You take the resin, which is the resin, right? The resin, and you put it on the fire, and the fire is an upside down fire. And you, the resin is the fire. So, I was watching all these guys, and then the bushcraft, because I loved bushcraft, I loved being out in the woods. And then 2021 came along, COVID came along. And in 2021, I had both of my hips replaced. I had, I had total hip replacement surgery. And so I was home all the time. I, I would have gone bat crap crazy if it were not for these bushcraft guys. And then I can't remember if it was my first hip or my second hip that I found Steve and he was just so it was just like a regular guy out there camping uh just connecting with people and it was it was so funny and and I actually sent him some beer money and stuff like that now he's a big superstar and everything so but anyway that's just my spiel on and I, I that's I I can't use my hips as an excuse get out and camp I've been able to do it no problem but it is what it is. The food is almost done. Stuff is picking up. Uh, the wind is picking up too. The rain has not started, thankfully. So let's just see how that goes. And I'll be right back. This is probably... Not 
not good. Well cooked. I mean, it's cooked, but it's not seasoned or anything. This is mostly for Bella. There's a steak. That looks actually pretty good. Oh my God. Bella, you can have the pork chop. <laughs> that steak is amazing. steak is really good. Bella's been such a good sport, though. Comes out here with me every time. Doesn't complain. She's my best good buddy. Bella, Bella. Still eating pretzels. Okay. Beer number four. Four. Now, these are 12 ounce cans. These aren't these big cans. But, beer number four is, this is a Mill Creek Pumpkin cream ale. Pumpkin cream ale. Um, I got to admit, as soon as October expires, I'm all into the pumpkin, pumpkin uh, spice stuff. Pumpkin spice coffee. Oh, yeah. I love it. Pumpkin beer. I'm not that big on pumpkin pie, though. What is that? I don't know. Uh, so this is good stuff. I'm going to try this. Pumpkin cream ale. Mmm. Mill Creek. That's yummy. Very good. Very good. So while I'm waiting for the water is like boiling, like it's not, it's like taking forever. The wind... Is stoking the fire, but I just decided to put the cup right in the coals. They said the rain was supposed to be here at 4 p.m. Still has not come. <clears throat> uh, stir well, seal, and let sit for 15 to 20 minutes. Good God, man. 15 to 20 minutes. Holy crap. I'm going to use that time to get my campsite cleaned up since the rain is not here yet. Uh, I'm going to take stuff. <clears throat> oh my gosh. I'm going to take some things and put them in storage back in my truck here. And uh, so that I'm all set to just to go to bed when I come back after dinner. Uh, guys, this is going to get really interesting here. Um, yeah, I just checked my phone and there's like tornado watch. <laughs> uh, so I don't know if we're going to stay or not. We'll see. But I don't know if we're going to stay the whole night. Does not look too good. see a lot of lightning on the horizon all right guys see here's the problem um is where i am in tennessee i picked the worst night to do an overnight i guess this is like a tornado watch until like i found out that it is it's a tornado watch which isn't as bad, of course. Tornado warning is much better, is much worse. <laughs> uh, so, I don't know. We may pack it in. 
The only thing is I've had four beers in the span of two hours and I don't drink very much so uh, if I were to get pulled over I would most definitely be in trouble but if a tree were to fall on me I would be in a lot more trouble <clears throat> well I'll tell you what ladies and gentlemen we are not going to stick around for this. <laughs> Man. I don't mind a little rain. But. Tornado watch. Nah. The problem is. There are trees that fall down around here all the time in wind. Well, I'm not going to be a statistic. What do you think, Bella? Yeah, she's agreeing. She probably wants to go too. She was sleeping really good though. I woke her up. Well, thanks for watching, guys. We'll do it again soon, okay? I love you all. Be well. Get outdoors. Bye.